I think Manus might be the first AI tool that actually replaces most of my AI subscriptions. They just released Manus 1.6 Max, and this is the first time an AI agent has felt actually usable and not just impressive. It can build apps for you, operate inside of a real browser, and complete full workflows end to end without babysitting. And here is the wildest part. Meta just acquired Manus just a couple of days ago, and that tells you exactly where AI agents are headed. In this video, I'll show you what Manus 1.6 Max unlocks, why this change is how you should be using AI in 2026, and how to let Manus work inside any browser you already use. All right, guys, so quick side note. Meta just acquired Manus, and you can see on this Twitter post that this is going viral across the AI space, and this is a huge deal. Meta doesn't just buy tools unless they think they're foundational to the future of AI products and how we interact with AI. What Manus is building here, agents that can actually do work across apps and browsers, lines up perfectly with where Meta wants AI to go. So to me, this is a signal that autonomous AI agents are about to become mainstream to everyday users because Meta is such a meta company. You know, everybody knows about them. And I personally think understanding how we could use this tool is extremely powerful going into 2026. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. All right, so just like that, a couple of minutes later, we now have this working prototype of our app. So let me quickly show you exactly how this works. Also, you can see that we have a QR code on the right-hand side of our screen. This basically allows us to preview our app on our mobile phone to see what our mobile app will look like when we actually use it. So let me just use this right here. Let's go ahead and add a new goal, workout every day. And there we go. It looks like we could easily just add, you know, a new goal here. This is a very simple app, but I just wanted to show you basically how this process works inside of Manus. And you could even see, we could come here and edit the code with all of the files here with our app. So if you know how to code, you could actually make some changes here. And we also have our built-in database directly inside of Manus, as well as we could see all of our files that we have. And we could even add our API keys to whatever different AI service we want to use or connect with. For example, we could just tell Manus what we want to integrate and we could go ahead and do it. So for, for example, if we wanted to integrate with Stripe, we could say, I want to integrate Stripe, send this off and our agent would begin building this directly into our application. And last of all, what we could do is we could either save this to GitHub to either make changes in cursor or Claude code if we wanted to, or we could just simply publish our app. And it looks like we'd e we could even publish directly to the Google Play Store, which I know a lot of you guys ask about in my Vibe Coding tutorials. All right, so that is Manus for building mobile apps directly in the platform. The next thing I wanna show you is how Manus actually connects to the tools that you already use. This is powered by something called MCP, and don't worry, you don't need to be technical to set this up or to understand what this is. I'm gonna walk you through the setup step by step, and once it's connected, Manus can start reading your apps, trigger actions, and run real workflows across any of the different apps you use with this simple hack. All right, so if we open up a new conversation inside of Manus, you could see this connect apps button here, and we could toggle all of our apps on. So for example, let me show you exactly what I mean. So we have Gmail, which looks like it's already enabled in my account. We could connect our Google Calendar, we could connect Notion, we could connect Google Drive, all these different platforms. You can now see every connector that Manus has directly baked into the platform. So let me show you exactly how to enable these now. Let's say you wanna give access to your Google Calendar. So you could come into your Manus chat and basically say, help me schedule a meeting with John next week on Tuesday and send him an email with a link to the calendar booking. So what we could do is we could just come here, click on Google Calendar. We're gonna click on connect and we can essentially just choose the account that we wanna sign in with. And it's as simple as just granting access right here. And now we actually have access to use our Google Calendar inside of Manus. So let me test it out now. And then I'm gonna show you how to connect your Manus application to 8,000 plus apps, as well as 30,000 plus automations across those apps. And what it's doing is it's using this MCP tool now, accessing the Google Calendar, and we should be able to see our calendar events on our Google Calendar. All right, and just like that, you can see that Manus created this entire document that's showing all the capabilities using the Google Calendar connector. I'm gonna even fetch a couple of different meetings here that you can see, Bangkok to Soul Flight, Partnerships Meeting, I'm gonna even another meeting right there, and it even shows the attendees and their emails. So now I'm gonna show you how to connect 
to 8,000 plus different applications using this one simple hack. All right, so I'm gonna come to connectors and next I'm gonna click on Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is, it's an automation platform that has access to 8,000 plus different apps. And again, 30,000 plus actions that we can perform across those different apps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on connect and then I'm gonna go to Zapier MCP and there's gonna be a link in the description to access this. And what I'm gonna do when I'm inside of this is I'm gonna click on new MCP server. And for my MCP clients, I'm gonna click on Manus. These two platforms connect extremely easily. This process is super easy to set up. So I'm gonna create an MCP server. And again, if you don't understand the technical like terms of what an MCP server is, don't worry, it just connects. It's basically a bridge that connects all of your applications together but in a simple in a simple way that non-technical people can understand. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna enable any of the tools that I want to use. So there are so many different platforms that we could actually access. For example, if we want to connect our ClickUp, we could just come here and then select these tools. If we wanna connect Notion, you can connect it as well. And then let me just look up Synthflow, which is an AI voice calling platform that Manus actually doesn't integrate with directly in their platform. So we're gonna use the Zapier MCP to do that. So I'm gonna select all these tools and each of these tools are different actions that our agent has access to. For example, we could actually get the transcript from a call. We could create a booking, go high level action. We could create an AI assistant. All these different things are actions that our agent can perform. So I'm gonna click on connect. And now we have all of our tools for this Synthflow set up. Let me click on Google Sheets. I'm gonna select all of these, click connect, and now our Manus application can access anything inside of our Google spreadsheets, update spreadsheets, all those different things just by using this. And so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on configure, we're gonna click on copy URL, and simply gonna paste this into Manus. And now we have successfully connected our Zapier MCP and can begin performing these actions directly inside of Manus. All right, for example, I asked Manus to fetch info from yesterday in my following tracker spreadsheet in Google spreadsheets. Essentially, I have this spreadsheet that tracks my following across my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube to see how much my channels are growing. And it was able to access this spreadsheet and provide this up-to-date information. So it showed yesterday I had 57,609 followers or subscribers. I had a 54 increase. And then it even explains the exact same thing for TikTok. Looks like I grew 116 followers on TikTok. And let me see if that information is correct. And there we go. TikTok, we actually increased 116. So this is a way that we could instantly connect to a bunch of different applications using the MCP inside of Manus, as well as the Zapier MCP that it easily connects with. All right, so the next feature I wanna show you is design view. Not only can Manus generate images and videos, but it can act as a complete design tool. Instead of reprompting over and over, you get a live canvas where you could click on specific parts of an image and tell Manus what you want to change. I'm gonna show you how this works in real time, including precise edits, upscaling, and background removal all directly inside of the design view inside of Manus. And this is one of those features that really does make Manus feel like a Swiss army knife that can do literally anything you want inside of one platform. All right, so in order to use design view, we're just gonna come back to a new Manus chat and we're gonna click on this design toggle button right here. And you can see we can now use Nano Banana Pro, which is the Gemini and Google image generation tool, as well as we could use ChatGPT image one. However, I'm gonna use Nano Banana Pro because it's just simply better. So what we could do is we actually have these preset prompts. So let's actually generate a SaaS landing page design using Nano Banana Pro that we could actually even import and build into our mobile app with that first feature that I showed at the beginning of this video, but I'm gonna show you exactly how we could not only generate these designs, but we could actually make iterations and changes using this canvas interface inside of Manus. All right, so just a couple of minutes later, we have this design here using Nano Banana Pro. And again, you could see this user interface that is like a canvas. And what we could do is we could either upscale this image or we could make edits to specific parts of this image directly inside of this platform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit text. Let's say that I don't like this text here and I wanna change it. I could simply just edit it and go like this. Let's just change this and say, let's change the text to say your data stored safely with AI. Click on save and apply. And now it's gonna generate a new mock-up and keep everything else the same. And just like that, we have that new design here with our new text and we could simply make any change we want using these 
precision edits features directly inside of Design View inside of Manus. All right, so here's another use case inside of Design View. So I uploaded this image of me wearing this Dak Prescott jersey. And let's say I want to wear this Tony Romo jersey because I want to go back 10 years, Cowboys fan. So what I could do is I could click on the image. I could click this Mark Edit feature. I could drag what I want to actually edit. You could see that it actually is bringing this into the chat here. And then I'm going to say, let's change this image so I'm actually wearing this jersey instead of the Dak Prescott jersey. And then I'm going to select this image and I'm going to click send. And now it's basically going to combine these images and make edits directly inside of the canvas inside of Design View in Manus. And just like that, you can now see I have this edit where I'm now wearing this Tony Romo jersey. What I could do is I could even upscale our image, which will just basically turn this into a 4K resolution. I'm going to click send and you can see that it's literally upgrading the quality of my image in real time. And then I could even go ahead and download it as well. Now let's try one more example inside of Design View. So what I could do is let me just go ahead and take this image, but I want to remove the background of it. So I'm just simply going to click on remove background and it's now going to highlight me, the subject in this image and just remove everything else in the background. And just like that, we now have this image of me that I could drag onto any image. So let me pull up something. I'm going to basically Photoshop myself onto it. So I could drag this anywhere on the canvas. You can see that I'm actually dragging this onto this image here. Let's say I want to Photoshop this image of me onto the back of my girlfriend. I could just go like this. And then what I could do, I could simply just highlight this and then download this image. So guys, there is design view. You could get really creative with this. This is a really good way to use Nano Banana and ChatGPT image generation in directly inside of your Manus platform without having to leave this platform to use it for your other workflows. All right, so the last feature I'm gonna show you is basically like having an AI powered browser, but instead of switching to a new browser, it works inside the one you already use. With the Manus browser extension, the agent can see and interact with your tabs, your logins, and any of the tools that you already work with. That means you can tell Manus what you want done and it will handle the browsing steps for you, such as clicking on websites, booking flights, any of those things can now be automated directly in your browser with this one extension. So let me show you how to download it and start using it right now. All right, so there's gonna be a link in the description to actually download this. And what I could do is I could just simply click install. So this is a Manus browser operator and I'm using Dia browser. If you're using Google Chrome, you could also add this and plenty of the other browsers you use. I'm simply gonna click on add to Dia and then we're gonna see this new little Manus button up here on the top right hand side of our screen, as well as it's gonna explain how to use it. So Manus will operate in a new tab to finish the task. Please supervise its actions to prevent errors and losses. All right, so in order to initiate the browser extension to go off and perform a task, I'm just gonna click up here, click on start a new task, and then I'm basically going to now give it a prompt. So here is the prompt and the task that I'm gonna give it. So go on TikTok, YouTube Studio, and Instagram, and log my follower growth in the spreadsheet and add all of the calculations. I even gave it the spreadsheet link, and this is that spreadsheet I was talking about earlier on in the video. So what it'll do is it will manually update this spreadsheet without me having to touch a thing. It'll scrape my YouTube, my TikTok, and my Instagram, all without me having to touch anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click send and it's going to open up these tabs and do this all without my hands being on the keyboard. So you can see it pulled up my TikTok. Whenever there's that blue ring, that means that the browser operator is off and performing a task. So it pulled the data from TikTok. Then it switched over to my YouTube studio analytics and it's now pulling my YouTube followers and subscriber count. One thing I want to mention is the best part about this is yes, there are AI browsers out there you could use. This works directly inside of any of the browsers you are already using. So if you're using Google Chrome, you don't need to download a new AI browser that is just gonna be a pain to set up and you're gonna have to maneuver around and figure out how to use because this is baked directly into whatever browser you're using because it's just an extension. And honestly, this feature alone is gonna be so useful. And honestly, I'm really excited to see what Meta and Manus do because I really do think that's gonna be an amazing partnership and it's going to really change the way we work. Because if I don't have to go into a spreadsheet anymore and manually do any of this data entry and I could just have it do it automatically just by giving it a simple prompt. That would be game changing with the way that I work personally. It would probably change things for you too. All right, guys. So there we have it. That is Manus in the new 1.6 Max update. If you guys want to try this out, there's a link in the description as well as in the top pinned comment with 1,000 free credits if you sign up using that link. With that being said, guys, thank you for staying to end this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.